our very own Stephen R. McQueen sure may have left Chicago Fire, but that doesn't mean he hasn't been doing great things on and behind the cameras. He's pretty keen on keeping private, and we respect that. Today, we're here to map out all the great things this guy has been up to. We're here to spell our latest insights on the show. It's going to be one roller coaster ride. Let's dive in. First off, there's a question that we just can't shake off. Careful there, Jimmy. Stephen R. McQueen's departure from Chicago Fire was nothing short of spectacular. In the Season 5 episode of Real Wake Up Call, his character, Jimmy Borelli, tries to save a car crash victim in a massive pileup, only to be caught in a gasoline truck explosion. Though Jimmy survives, he suffers severe burns to his face, and doctors are unable to save his eye, effectively ending his career as a firefighter. What's more, the man hasn't been seen since he appeared in a single episode of Chicago PD. That's what we can't shake. Where has the man been since? McQueen joined the cast of Chicago Fire in 2015, shortly after leaving the Vampire Diaries. So, you know, we've got a little used to him popping up on our TV screens. His character evolved from a misfit struggling with his relationship with his older brother, a firefighter, to someone with his own deep passion for the job during his time in the One Chicago franchise. Though his departure from the show was fitting for his character, Steven, grandson of famed King of Cool whose name he bears, hasn't exactly been at the top of the pop culture radar since leaving. But does that mean he hasn't been working? Let's find out. Up next. So, let's find out what Steven Steven has been doing since leaving Chicago Fire. Those who've stuck with the actor from the very beginning know that this guy was never really written off from the Vampire Diaries, and it seems like after McQueen left the set of Chicago Fire, he had another blast from the past, and this flashback didn't really have us complaining. So Stephen R. McQueen's first job after leaving Chicago Fire was brief, but still, he returned to the Vampire Diaries universe. Yep, now you get why we said blast from the past, right? McQueen's character, Jeremy Gilbert, went through a lot in the first six seasons. For those of you who are only aware of the Chicago Fire, Stephen, let's catch you up with the Vampire Empire Diary Steven. He played Elena's, played by Nina Dobrev, younger brother. Now while that shows that he always worked with an iconic cast, that's not all his character offered. Jeremy also turned out to be a vampire hunter. He not only lost countless friends and family members, but was essentially raised from the dead, only to have his girlfriend Bonnie, played by Cat Graham, sacrifice herself for him and later become trapped in a prison world. Not your average love story, are we right? Now the Vampire Diaries ended years ago. How's Steven playing Jeremy still? Well, after coming back to life but losing his girlfriend, McQueen character understandably goes through a rather rough patch, to say the least. But things eventually turn around, sort of. Jeremy regains his hunter abilities while being drunk and depressed, and decides it's time to leave Mystic Falls. In the 2018 season finale of The Vampire Diaries, Jeremy is seen teaching all our Salvator school students how to defend themselves against the supernatural one last time. Following that storyline, McQueen also appeared in the third episode of the spin-off series Legacies as Jeremy. We love it when a character keeps popping in. Sounds like a gift that keeps on giving, doesn't it? Next, Next, let's talk about his other gig, Medal of Honor. Moving on from Chicago Fire in the Vampire Diaries universe, our guy has been doing some pretty big things. Stephen R. McQueen also started Netflix's hybrid series documentary Medal of Honor. The show tells the story of a U.S. military member who received the country's highest honor. Sounds fun, huh? In the show, Stephen McQueen portrayed Joseph Vittori, a 22-year-old Marine who gave his life during the Korean War to prevent an enemy breakthrough a gap in his battalion lines. While that role may feel like a far cry from his previous characters, this isn't entirely the the case. Coming up next on the list is The Warrant. Back in 2020, McQueen ventured into a genre familiar to his grandfather, westerns. He co-starred with Neil McDonough and Casper Van Dien in the INSP Network's made-for-TV film The Warrant. Stephen McQueen portrayed Federal Marshal Cal Breaker, son of McDonough's Sheriff John Breaker, as they set out to arrest Van Dien's vigilante, Virgil St. Dennis. Apparently, Neil's been a family friend for a long time, according to McQueen, as he explained to PopCulture.com. So when Neil called him and the last two talked about it, he obviously shared that it was going to be a western film, and they'd get to shoot some guns, and basically have a blast literally and figuratively. Now, while The Warrant, Breaker's Law, a sequel to The Parent Show, was announced for March of 2022, but McQueen does not appear to be present in the follow-up. Now, speaking of characters leaving the show, coming up, Jesse Spencer has lined up his first major post-Chicago fire role. Nobody's inside, Chief. Sir, let us take a look at you. Come on, get him off his feet. We all remember Jesse, right? He played Matt Casey on NBC's Chicago Fire for 10 seasons, and now he has landed his first major role since leaving the show. The man deserves the big roles too, so we're thrilled to hear that. Let's talk about his new gig then, shall we? Spencer is about to return to his Australian roots, with a starring role in David Chidlow's Disney Plus Australian original series, Last Days of the Space Age. Sounds fancy, doesn't it? Well, the new eight-part dramedy is set in 1979 Western Australia, and follows three 
families in a close-knit coastal community as their marriages, friendships, and futures are tested. So, how would one describe the series? The Last Days of the Space Age is an eight-part series set in Western Australia in 1979, when Perth was at the center of the world's attention. A power outage threatens the region, while the city hosts the iconic Miss Universe pageant in the U.S. space station Skylab, crashes just outside the city's outskirts. In the midst of international culture and political shifts, fascinating stuff. We're excited to see how Spencer and his co-star Rada Mitchell will play Tony and Judy Bissett, one of the three central couples in the series. Now let's find out where we can see the series, Last Days of the Space Age. While it hasn't yet been confirmed whether Last Days of the Space Age will be available to stream on Disney Plus in the United States, don't worry, all hope isn't lost yet. There's a chance the series will be available for those looking to see Jesse Spencer in his first major role since leaving Chicago Fire. It's true that the series is one of the first local content announcements made by Disney Plus in Australia, but we've seen local Australian workers being streamed in the US earlier as well. There's no reason for things to change now. Among the new shows announced was Shipwreck Hunters Australia, now available on Disney Plus in the United States. So don't worry folks, you'll get to see your favorite actor pretty soon. Coming up, are all doors for Jesse's return permanently closed? Herman, mount, grab the extinguishers. Oh, let's get that tarp up for me. Yes, you've heard the rumors and we've heard them too. So let's unpack it. The main plot of season 10 was Casey leaving Chicago Fire, but it appears that his break may not last as long as we had expected. The man has already appeared at the wedding of Severide and Kid, and it now appears that he will appear in season 11. And he did. Although neither the cast nor the crew has commented on the circumstances surrounding Casey's return, there are some fun little tidbits that point to something spectacular being prepared for the mid-season finale of the show. Aside from the fact that the character indicated he would be relocating to Oregon for three years, Casey's return to the plotline seems unlikely to occur anytime soon, but it feels like actor Jesse's personal plans and the departure itself appear to be final for the time being. Lastly, why did the actor leave the show anyway? For those extinguishers! Casey, that's a negative. This guy's a fly dumper. Our company's backing up 50 feet! After 18 years in the television industry, Jesse Spencer has shared that he wanted to spend more time with his family. He added that while he hates to leave the show because he truly loves working on it, when the time comes, the time comes. So basically, it is what it is. But as we said earlier, there's a chance for a comeback in the future, and the show appears to be highly receptive to the idea. Derek even went ahead to say that he prefers to keep the character alive if he feels a return is possible, and Jesse too has suggested the prospect of his character returning from Oregon one day. Regarding his exit from the show, the executive producer Derek Haas acknowledged having bittersweet thoughts. Last year, just before the 200th episode aired, he thanked Jesse for years of tremendous friendship and service and acting and making the show credible. When the cast is such a close-knit family as well, the chances for returns seem to increase. Fingers crossed. That's a wrap. Let us know in the comments what you think of our very own Stephen R. McQueen and where you'd like to see him next. Hit like, press that bell icon for updates, and click that subscribe button because we'll be back with another video. Bye!